Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where we're having fun in this prison. Not really. It's it's not a whole lot of fun. Not a huge fan of this place. But we're making progress, so I mean, there's that. Now, I don't recall whether we want to be down below or up. Well, I know we want to be down below, but... On this side or the other side? Which side has the shortcut? I'm beginning to think it's the other side. Considering that if the door was on this side, then that would just lead to slightly below this exit. Yeah, it is the other side. Okay. So the shortcut's not quite as short as I might have hoped. Also, hello, gentlemen. Okay, you don't need to punch me. We only just met. Way to walk against that wall, Warden. There we are. Okay. Then I believe it's down below on this side is where we'll find our path out. Yes. So let's just drop. Yep, here we are. So it's not the longest of paths, but it's certainly not the shortest. And I am eager to find another bonfire, seriously. Or at least a better shortcut. And also I'm curious as to just what gesture I need to use and where I get it. But I suppose I'll find out eventually. So, with all these wardens, my goal is to sneak by somehow. I'm guessing my best bet is to come over here. Okay, no one's coming from over there, and as long as the wardens don't spot me, I'm good. The loudness of their steps is a little intimidating. Okay, this might be our best bet. Running. Some of them spotted us, but hopefully not many. And hopefully they won't follow to out here. And now we are much better prepared for this gargoyle. But I'm going to see how it reacts to flame. Come on down. Okay. It doesn't have any particular issues with flame. let there be a bonfire across this bridge. That would be appreciated. Ooh, this place has seen better days. So we could take the stairs or the ladder. I choose ladder. And there must be some way to get back up on the other side. Because there doesn't look to be any way around. Seriously, still no bonfire? I expected there to be one, like, on the floor of this room. Oh, yeah, there's a ladder right here. Bonfire ahead. Up the ladder? I hope so. Oh, thanks for the gesture, corpse. And now that we've reached a bonfire with all these souls, let's go spend them. And we've got some other stuff to use to make life 
easier still. Gonna be glad to see Firelink again. Ah, yes. So let's start by heading over to Andre. Hey, buddy. Ah, well, tis good to what need. Uh, first. Yay. All right, and then. Yeah, let's use our two Titanite chunks to make our sword better still. Excellent. And I think that's about it. Well, I can make my Dragon Rider bow better. I may as well. Oh, Titanite scales for that. Never mind, at least for now. And looks like the spell buff doesn't increase, though the scaling does. But I don't know that that matters for healing. And buffing a shield just buffs its stability, which, while nice, isn't really what I'm into it for. Twinkling Titanite for this thing? Huh. Well, let's see here. Ten and two. Let's do nine and three. And let's give coal. Words. Where did you happen upon this coal? In a dungeon. This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Oh. Yet a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? Sure. With how fearful everyone here in Firelink is of Pretty dark... Be careful, I don't want... <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe there are other characters who I could give the dark... Well, I know, for at least the pyromancy stuff, there's other characters I could give the dark stuff to who might not be so afraid... That is, yeah, just the way that Andre was talking about it, I actually felt for the guy. He was, he was scared. Welcome home, Ashen. Speak that very well. Then touch, take none. Okay, let's level. Uh, I was doing a bit more vigor is what I was doing. So, 22k to level up next. Can probably get there by selling some souls. Ooh, and we've got some ash to give, too. Ah, oh, how gracious. Passing fine. Let this. I only hope. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, what new stuff? Any new stuff that I care about? I should probably grab some of these for dealing with mimics. And anything else you got that I might enjoy? Um, got the black iron armor. Ah, Xanthus armor. I guess it makes sense that giving you Xanthus ashes lets you sell that. Okay. So, how many souls can we get from selling? Ooh. 30k right here. So, that's one level. And this is assuredly two levels. And we could get another 15k on top of that. More. We might be able to get three more levels. Maybe. Let's find out. Can we get three more levels? 
Very well. Then touch take no. We can. Though I'm not going to toss it all into vigor. Especially because it seems that it is now less valuable. Ooh, wow. It drops with each level now. So, yeah, we get 30. Then we get 23. Then we get 19. So, yeah, vigor is becoming less valuable quite visibly, so... We could do more strength. Oh, but if we do one more point of dex, then with our ring, that lets us equip something we weren't able to before. I don't remember what. So I'll do that. Vitality, we're fine for now. Endurance, we can live without for a while. Attunement. More FP is good. And if I get it to 150 here, then I'll be able to use... Uh, I'll be able to use all of my FP if I just use the Great Chaos Fire Orbs because they're 25 each. So I'll be able to cast six before needing to take a drink. Okay. So, what weapon was I able to equip once I got Ah, uh, the Astora Greatsword, maybe? Oh, the Wolf Knight's Greatsword. That was it. Very heavy, though. Let's see about upgrading it. Just because. Ah, tis good, wasn't neat. Eh... Uh. We've already upgraded this once, but... Looks like that starts scaling better with dex the more I upgrade it. That's a shame. Whereas this, we know, will scale better with strength forever. And after one upgrade, it'll be superior to the Wolnir's Holy Sword thanks to the strength scaling. So let's toss an upgrade onto it. And then we're short some souls, but I know we can get them. Let's get soulsing. And then you as well. All right. Ow. Oh. The demon and deacons have very valuable souls. Ashen one. Oh. All right, let's see how many more upgrades we can throw onto our ah, wolf knight sword. Good, neat. Looks like just the one. Wow. So we are 434 souls. Shy of another upgrade. Do I have enough to make that up without using a boss soul? Yes. Pretty much exactly enough. Doink. Ah, tis good what need. So one more upgrade onto it. Two oh eight plus ninety-two. Versus 196 plus 105. So it's actually uh, it's 12 stronger raw, but it's 13 weaker scaling. Um, actually, one more thing, Andre. Is it infusible? Looks like it is not. But with one more upgrade, it should become better. And do I have the stones? No, I don't. I need eight more Titanite scales, and I've got zero. And it can't be infused. 
I'm sure it'll do more damage per hit. Or at least I certainly hope so, because otherwise that would be really sad. But, yeah, for now, it is a downgrade, almost assuredly. And there's got to be some path I'm missing. Because, I mean, for one, th well, you know what? It's probably the giant might have been guarding, like, the key that we didn't have that would open those doors that we couldn't open. There's a ladder out here. Why is there a ladder out here? Yeah, I think the sleeping giant might have been guarding something important. Where does this ladder go? Oh, hello. Was that from you? It was. What are you holding? So I think this ladder, that's taking us down there. And down there, I am certain is farther away from over there. So, let's see, where can we go? Where do we want to go? All right, let's take a good look around here. So, up there is the dungeon that archway up there with the path leading down that's where we went into that building and then we went around and came out there so is there any way to get back into there from a lower point any way to get up higher is going up to that bonfire the only path from here? No, it isn't. So where does this lead? Looks like it might lead back in. Yeah, because we want to go back in but lower in order to get to the giant's feet. Don't we? And what's down here? Oh, is that just the path down to... It might be. Oh no, it's separate. And there's a broken ladder here. So, we want to get up there somehow. What am I hearing? Oh, hello. I hope I never have to fight two of these at once. Ooh. You have got a flaming weapon. One that I wish you wouldn't use against me. Why do your wings sometimes act as shields? I forgot to burn my bone shards. Oh, your wings sometimes act as shields because sometimes you use them as shields. Okay. Used far too many Estus flasks against this guy. But it looks like we do have a path back in. So then, where does this lead? Does this actually go anywhere? I see. What will probably be a pair of gargoyles that are going to wake up down there in the bottom right. And... No, it looks like this path doesn't actually go anywhere else just lets us get a glimpse of what's to come so let's head back in here please lead to the giant's feet lizard I'm gonna go this way first though less chance of scaring the lizard away lizard Uh, 
Okay, I hear a lot of things splashing around. I'm not sure whether that's good or bad for me. <laughs> or rather, whether they're near or Oh, it's a good thing I didn't go for the lizard. Is that another poison bog? Ooh. No, it's not a poison bog. It's... Wait. Aren't we, like, much higher... Or much lower down than... Irithyll? I think we are. So that must be a different pool of water with those things in it. And I'm very lucky I decided to try going around the lizard just in case it was leading me into a trap. I'm also good. I lucky I have good reflexes. I am lucky I have good reflexes. I'm not good I have good reflexes. Though I guess it is good that I have good reflexes. Okay, so... Just a rusted gold coin, huh? Wouldn't want to fall just for that. So where is this taking me? Hopefully not a poison bog. Though the water does seem awfully still. And greenish. So this is definitely not taking me where I was hoping it would. But maybe if we go up higher, it can take me somewhere useful. Looming purple. Are we going to have to deal with toxin? Because I don't want to deal with toxin. Also, is there any way down where I can get back up? It's not looking that way. I'm just going back in, making sure I didn't miss any paths. It doesn't look like I did. Okay, I guess we are jumping down. Oh boy. It is a poison bog. Or it might even be a toxin bog. I think that's toxin. Ooh, a purging stone. Well, that means I can use the one I've got without reservation. Or the one I had. I've been wanting to use it, but... Now that I've got another... I don't feel so bad for doing so. Go, go, go! Die, die, die. There's items over there, and I kind of want them, but I don't want to go through the bog to get them, and I don't want to fight more of these things. Ooh, do I hear a sleeping giant? Does this take me to him? Or do I hear something completely different that is much worse? Honestly, I can't be sure. So, where is this going to take me? Oh. What are you? You misshapen thing. Okay, so we can go in there and fight it, or we can go up and around, it seems. Can we go up and perhaps fire down? Oh, hello. Who are you? And why are you not being friendly? No, no. Try it again, I dare you. Or don't. You deserve what you got. You're not even Logan. So it looks like we can drop down. Ooh, that's elevated, so that would be the only way to get that item. Is there anything else around here? Well, there's this. May as well grab it. Poison arrows, huh? Those might come in handy pretty immediately. 
or perhaps later on. Before I drop down in there, though, let's see if this is maybe a shortcut back to somewhere I want to be. That would be appreciated. Ooh, I hear another large sleeping thing. It's the giant. Oh, and there's a warden over here. There are two wardens. Where did they come from? Did they drop from somewhere? No, I guess I just didn't actually look at them. <laughs> How did I miss those? I guess they're jailers, not wardens. Ooh, can I just throw fireballs at the giant from in here? That would be nice. That didn't do much. That did. Yeah, he doesn't seem to know what to do. So he just goes right back to sleep. And apparently the fireballs don't wake him up anymore. Wake up! Okay, so if you attack him from where he can't get you, he just goes back to sleep. That's not amazing. And I'd have to drop down to cut at his feet. Ooh, that might be very useful. Well... As much as I want to cut at his feet, I don't know that I have a path back to here if I do. So for now, I'm going to go back down here. And I'm going to drop over to this guy. Wrath of the Gods, huh? What are you? Some sort of hand beast. Why is there a hand beast here? And why is it snoring? And why are there so many mimics? Because that's one right there. Okay, hand beast. Let's see what your deal is. Oh, okay. You have lots of fingers. Also lots of damage. Not lots of speed. Oh no! I've been grab eaten. Stop it. Whoops. Oh. Thanks for overshooting. But I don't want to drop down to play with it. Oh, there's an item. But it's being guarded. Do I have any safe places to go from here? Not terribly. That is to say, not terribly safe places. But, at least from here, the hand beast can't get to us. At least I don't think it can. Alright, so let's just go in here, have us a nice drink. Court sorcerer stuff, huh? And let's show this mimic what for. Let's get away from it. I know I've got those talismans, I just don't want to use them right now. Goodbye, Mimic. Ah, another court sorcerer thing. So, what's in here? Nothing? Sounds like that hand beast might be trying to make its way back here. At least it sounds like there's something behind one of these walls. Okay. 
So, okay. Yeah, this is the thing we could see from there. Okay, 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 okay. So, that's everything up here. There's, of course, more down below, but we'd have to go down below. And until I get something that reduces toxic, I don't know that I want to do that. So, let's do this giant in. He's been a thorn in our side. A thorn. A thorn in our side long enough. Die, rats. Somehow managed to hit that rat despite swinging the complete opposite direction. Let's collect loot around here. Being careful not to cut his feet while we get rid of the rats. Did he just despawn? No, he didn't. Camera just moved. Okay. Oh, hello, rat. So are we killing them in one shot because they're a weaker type of rat or because I got a better upgrade on my sword? I'm beginning to think these rats will spawn infinitely. It's certainly beginning to look that way. So let's just get cutting. That didn't do as much as I hoped. That did, however. I wonder why Dark Souls 2 had a different type of giant than Dark Souls 1. And Dark Souls 3 has the Dark Souls 1 style giants, but then there's the giant who's also a Lord of Cinder who seems to be a Dark Souls 2 style giant. Basically, I'm just wondering what's up with all the different kinds of giants. And then also in Dark Souls 1, the population of Anor Londo had been referred to as giants in at least one source. Gods and giants. Ow. Yeah, this giant is much easier to fight when you're fighting his feet. So how many souls are you worth? 5k? Looks like the rats did eventually stop spawning. So where can we go from here? Looks like there's a small path that way and a big path this way. And this is a death drop. So let's head up here for now. Where will this take me? There's a ladder. And there's another Mimic. Okay, this time I will use an Undead Hunter charm. Give me your goods. Oh. And another one. Oh, or not. Let me target you, please. And here, have another. Just in case you want to give me the Mark of Avarice. No, you do not. There. And nothing for your slaying. So where does this ladder take me? Somewhere useful, I hope. Would be nice. And I imagine now that I've got that key ring, I can actually open all the doors inside. Where is this? Huh. Oh. Okay, so we can get down to where the giant had been. 
But it looks like a one-way trip. So... I kind of want to investigate the other path, but then again... Curiosity. So it looks like... I meant to jump across here. Let's give it a shot. Easy. And we can go through here. Oh. Well, let's not. In fact, let's just drop right down to the item the giant was guarding. See what it is. Really, that's it? Now I'm the crestfallen one. So let's slide down here. Use heal to get our health back, of course. That's kind of its purpose. And then... Do I dare try and make the fall? It's probably going to be lethal. It's almost certainly going to be lethal. That's actually really far. Do we have any where that we can drop that might break our fall at all? Not that I can see. Other than maybe that slanted beam. So let's see if we can hit it. Yes. Okay. Thanks for breaking my fall, beam. Let's use heal again. And this time we'll use the other path. Where will you take us? To an elevator. Elevators are good. And we're going up. There is a ledge to get off onto, but doesn't seem to hold anything. Unless maybe there's an illusory wall. Who is this? It is. It's the shortcut I always wanted. And I am glad to find it. So glad I'm going to end the episode. Join us next time when we uh, explore more places, I suppose. See you then, friends.